Welcome back everyone, Twitch is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today, totally gonna be checking out two of the more recent slash brand new NECA Toys Target exclusive Cartoon Ninja Turtle 2 packs. We're going deep diving on this one. We have the Slash for Cash Dojo Owner Smash with the fifth turtle, Zack, right? And then you have a army builder with a crooked digit turtle and a rock soldier infantry man. With Zack and Smash, you get a, a whole host of accessories. We'll look at those in detail. And on the back, of course, the usual nice write-up. You got the photos. And then you get to see all the Ninja Turtle figures that I don't have as of yet. Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa will be coming. Neutrinos and Toka and Razar will be part of of the Target Geek Out event. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this particular set, so thank you very much for that. And of course, on your searchings into Target stores, here's the barcode to scan. Now, with the Army Builder set, I'm gonna tell you this, you're gonna see uh, a few sets in this video because I'm a completionist with this uh, Ninja Turtle line. I absolutely love it. I gotta keep it cartoon accurate, but you can tell me your thoughts on that, and I like the illustrations right here. The Rock Soldier's just like, what is this turtle guy about? On the backside, the usual. Again, photos of the figure. You get to see all the other figures that uh, Toysha's doesn't have. And then <laughs> everyone involved with the creation of this figure as well. And of course, here is the barcode to scan in stores. Now, just as a heads up, this is part of the Target Fall Geek Out. You can head into stores now. A lot of people have been finding these they are store exclusive in the sense they're Cartoon Ninja Turtles. Also, we just had Friday, September 2nd, and then next week, Friday, September 9th, we'll see more products, more things that you can find in the store as of right now and in the coming weeks, and you can hopefully uh, grab them online if your stores don't have them. I, myself, I've had no luck whatsoever thus far for the Neutrinos or Toka and Razar, but I'll find them eventually. Not to worry, right? So... This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two of the brand new NECA Toys cartoon TMNT Target store exclusives. The Crooked Ninja Turtle and Rock Soldier Infantry 2-pack and Zack and Smash. And while I got all you Crooked Ninja Turtle gang members here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's go ahead and kick it off right. We'll do the two-pack first. I think that's a great way to start it off. Now, I'm one of those people, like I said, I absolutely love the Ninja Turtle line. I will army build the heck out of this. I don't army build, but this this changes me. For the better, hopefully, right? Now you do get a bevy of extra hands for the Crooked Ninja Turtle gang member. You got closed fists, open hands, karate hands, weapon holding hands. You get the idea. You get basically a spear. You can kind of match it up to say like this would be the evil version of all the turtles, right? So Donatello's covered here. Leonardo is covered with a sword. And if you have the multiple two packs you can give them the full weapons you just get one of each much like michelangelo's nunchucks the ones that come with him are, are better you get the nunchuck with a ball on the end of it the ball is done nicely it's nice and heavy then these to be honest do nothing for me i guess they're supposed to be various throwing stars in that sense for the rock soldier infantry man you do get two extra hands and I have to say, one thing I want to point out with these sets is the paint, the paint. Eh. This one is my favorite, absolutely. This is the weather controlling machine. Make sure to set that to total chaos. Remember that from the uh, first three episodes? I think it was with the neutrinos. I love this thing. That's a great accessory right there. And then you get a mutagen canister. This totally could have been painted better. It's very rough on the outside. It's a nice color. It also opens up. The inside's painted good. You get to see the ooze with all the green, and you got a couple yellow bubbles in there, and it closes up nicely, but yeah, the outside could have been painted better. You get an extra blaster, which is totally done nice. Nice paint all over that. You do get a rifle, which again, nice paint overall. And then you get a rifle with a scope. It's almost the same gun, to be honest. It's about the same size, same look. There's just a couple changes here and there. But yeah, the nice thing is if you have three infantry soldiers, you can use all three weapons. And then for the Crooked Ninja Turtle gang member himself, <laughs> 
the fact one that we've gotten to this point, right? Is is amazing to me. It's just fantastic. Two, it's just so goofy and wackadoo. But in pure NECA cartoon Ninja Turtle fashion, they've pulled it up. And I really like the two-tone colors on this guy. More of a dark green to like a yellowy green on the back. You get some nice articulation in the head. He gets to do his little rotated uh, head baggy thing right there. Uh, it's so ridiculous. This is, is it's wackadoo, right? The articulation. This is where it kind of takes a backtrack to where some of the more recent Cartoon Turtle sets, I've said, hey, no problem. You don't have to heat these up, none whatsoever. These ones, I'm going to say either you got to heat them up or you got to go really easy, especially in the legs, the right here in the knees. This gave me a lot of trouble. And then unfortunately on all three, the feet are too loose. You have to stand them and then you got to get them in the right position so they don't fall forward. The legs don't work with you on these, unfortunately. Both they're stuck at the knees and they're loose at the ankles. The paint overall is pretty solid for all three figures, right? I hit some good ones. That's nice to see. In juxtaposition, you have the Rock Soldier Infantry Man. And one, I think he's got good paint overall. It just, out of the three figures, it kind of depends. Some of them are kind of sloppy. Some of them kind of just had some problems here and there, maybe some paint chippage, you know what I mean? So when you're going through them at the store, just keep this stuff in mind, you know, just to make sure you get yourself a good one. He's got really good craggy rock texturing to him. I really dig that. He's got a fantastic head sculpt. Right here, I would say the joints work, and this is one I, I'm happy to say you don't have to heat up. He's not loose in that sense you don't really have to uh, worry about snapping or breaking anything or thinking you have to do that but uh, i really wish right here more towards the thigh that it would have been a different color just to fit better the knees well okay I, i'll take it back maybe let's say with the knees just go easy on them although they move a heck of a lot better the feet are good he stands well he looks good he's pretty solid he's a rock of a figure so well done in that sense now with the other two pack here just um, look at all the weapons, too, that you get. For the price point that you get, right? Two figures, original sculpts, and, and tons of accessories. So you have extra hands for Smash in case you want to, I don't know, karate chop a cash register because that's a, that's a thing. Fisted hands, weapon holding hands. He comes with several weapons, which the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang member doesn't come with. So these are unique weapons to smash and i totally dig that you get an extra unmasked head portrait again they've captured the look of the cartoon perfectly all the little black marks and the paints along with the extra head portrait for zach it's fantastic the blonde hair everything works with this guy it, they look like real cartoons you know what i mean he comes with his goggles in the particular episode where zach shows up he puts all the goo on the floor so he can track the ninja turtles footprints in the sewers those are, it's infrared goggles. Just think of that. You have the Capsidium Crystal that uh, Shredder goes after along with Krang from the episode. You got really teeny tiny hands. Thank you so much for the extra hands always. But man, oh man, do not drop these. These are smaller than you think. Then you get some cool jumper cables right here. This is awesome. And because uh, I left this out of the initial photo, yes, you do get the extra head of chrome dome from the episode where you have chrome dome's head and uh, this opens up and you can see it and essentially zach hacks chrome dome and uh, i like that you can put those in the head right it, it just mimics the episode really well so i definitely dig that i like that you get an extra head portrait we'll try and pop that on chrome dome see how it looks you get a turtle com like in the episode, he uses the, the wire, it sticks in, creates all the noise to distract Shredder. This might be a trilithium diamond. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it. Kind of doesn't at the same time. And you get one heck of a grappling hook. Lothar from Defenders of the Earth would be jealous. It's a really nice string. I love figures that have string, like I said in my prior videos. It's how I used to play with my uh, Spider-Man figures. You know, you just do it the old-fashioned way. But it's a nice grappling hook. It looks good. And as far as Smash goes, again, just think about this. We have a figure for the guy who runs the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang. And it's, it's so much better than it ever needs to be. They nailed it on this figure. 
just in the standalone. We're going to talk about paint. We're going to talk about articulation in just a second. He's got the same color scheme as the other gang members, but he's the big old fat member and he looks good. Now, the arms are pretty solid. Not too many problems there. He's got the waist articulation. The legs, the knees are what gave me the most problem. Go really easy. Now, once I got them going, they worked. And the feet are very stable. They're not loose, so that's good. But uh, some of the paint, and again, some of the articulation that you might want to work with, go easy a little bit here and there. You know what I mean. So I'm going to be honest with you. Th this, was, this is the figure right here. That um, It's a fantastic-looking figure. Look at this figure. And then put him back on your shelf and don't ever touch this thing again. This is the most frustrating figure I've had in a while. Number one, the trash can turtle shell lid, right? This piece popped out. It's glued in, but in putting it on, it keeps wanting to slide out. So the glue became loose. The legs are very tough. He's a very teeny tiny figure with teeny tiny parts. The paint on it kind of goes south here and there, like right here on his hockey stick. The joints are okay. They look a little wonky here and there, but I mean, at least he's double jointed. So I'll give it to him on that. The paint goes a little bit south here and there. Make sure you get yourself one. That's really good when you're looking through them in the packaging. The legs, the knees especially, gave me the most problems. Although, it it's one of those, again, it, if you just set them up, get through it, ignore the frustration, and just put them on your shelf and leave them alone. That's, that's what you want to do in this sense. I like the Turtle Comp. You can plug in the wire, which plugs into the backpack. The backpack is a pain, the turtle shell is a pain to slip all that on, get it right, get the belt on, enjoy. <laughs> Once it's done, you're like, I need a sandwich, right? So in that sense, everything looks good once you're done, right? Peggles on the bottom of his feet, but it's a frustrating figure. But dag nabbit, does he look good as the fifth Master Ninja Turtle scourge of all evildoers with the other Ninja Turtles. And man, oh man. I mean, again, such an 80s character. Distinctly remember his episode. I don't know why. All the, all the like the Junior Ghostbusters, Zack the Fifth Turtle, they stand out, right? The Crooked Ninja Turtle gang is very fun. Now, you tell me your opinion on this. Initially, I thought, okay, I'll get four sets, right? Four gang members. There are four gang members in the initial scene in the dojo but then subsequently, as the episode continues, it's always Smash with three of the gang members. But then later at the very end, you see up to like six or seven gang members. So I'm going to keep it at three. I think that's going to be good. That way it mirrors the Ninja Turtles. Smash is the leader. You got the three other turtle-ish characters, each with their weapons. Raphael, you kind of have a doppelganger Michelangelo Donatello you get the idea but uh, I really like not only do they appear in the cartoon but they were in the Archie comic as well so that to me plays into the whole like oh man I gotta do this and get these right but they are pretty cool looking all situated especially when fighting the Ninja Turtles that's where these things really come to life NECA has done such a great job of building a world it's amazing. And just the fact that nobody in this Ninja Turtle world, Channel 6 News, could tell the difference, except for April, between the Crooked Ninja Turtle gang and the real Ninja Turtles. But I really like when you have Shredder and you have all the Crooked Ninja Turtle gang members are going. That's pretty cool. Again, it's bringing this world to life with these background random characters. Shredder posed next to Zack the Fifth Turtle after he's gone after the Capsidium Crystals. I love that. I really think that that is amazing. It totally never needed to exist or happen, but that's why this Ninja Turtle line shines so great. Even Krang with now, <laughs> man, three Rock Soldier infantrymen. That's awesome. It fits so dang well, especially if Trag and Granitor, Trag, Krang, all the Rock Soldier guys, straight for Dimension X. Zack, along with Chrome Dome. Look how big Chrome Dome is compared to Zack. That's hilarious. Now, I will tell you this. I tried my darndest to get the head off of Chrome Dome. I could not do it to show you the even swap. 
it should go on there. If you can get yours off, let me know how it goes and all that. But uh, here's the difference between the two. It's a difference of paint, basically. And then, of course, the new chrome dome head opens up to reveal all the circuitry, which, again, that's awesome. And, of course, if you go over to Icon 3D Labs and grab one of their custom-printed Pizza Monster incubators, well, it doesn't look too shabby having chrome dome's head on there with the attachment wire and... Zach is just going away, hacking, right? That's that's amazing. I'm very happy with the way these came out. There are paint issues. There are some joint issues that I wish weren't a thing, right? It's minimal, but just be on the safe side, I would say. Heat them up where you can. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cartoon Target Store exclusives, Zack and Smash, and the Crooked Ninja Turtle gang member along with the Rock Soldier Infantry Man. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let me know how it's going out there. You guys finding what you want at Target? Hopefully, all positive vibes, right? You know, if you haven't found them yet, keep an eye out. I'm in the same boat as of right now. But uh, hopefully, we'll all have a good experience. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.